All right, so this is actually gonna be the first video of the series of engine weights and dimensions. So the quick rundown is that we're gonna give you a general reference guide that you can look at quickly and know about how large this engine is physically from its width to its length to its full length and some height dimensions. And then afterwards, we're gonna weigh this lifting fixture, which is this load leveler and straps. And we'll keep that, um, we'll keep that weight as a note and afterwards we'll come and weigh the engine and transmission together, then pull the transmission off, weigh the engine, and then weigh the transmission separately. And then we'll just deduct whatever the weight of this is. I don't wanna use the tear function on the scale because I don't really trust that measurement. I'd rather just have a predetermined weight that I could subtract. Um, makes it easier so I know that there's not any kind of like load issues with that. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the scale that we're going to be using is um, a thousand pound crane scale. This is the best one that I could find without breaking the bank. Um, at over 50% capacity, it's about um, 0.5 pounds, so half a pound accurate, plus or minus, and we're probably going to be approaching somewhere around 60%. So let's just give let's give it an error of a plus or minus a pound just to be safe, um, and then just use an old handy dandy tape measure right here to get general measurements. So. Um, the engine is a 2JZ GTE, uh, single turbo converted. We're running an HKS T04Z turbo on a single stainless manifold. It has all of its accessories. So we have the alternator, water pump pulley is set up. We have the power steering, the AC compressor, the starters on it. We've got the R154 trans. It has a single disc clutch in it. And we managed to find a shifter for it this dude over here <laughs> anyway uh yeah we managed to find a shifter so we'll include that in the weight as well as the harness and uh yeah and it's actually got uh full full oil right is full, it there? it's full, full oil engine oil and half in the trans. about a uh, quarter okay cool so yeah this is what we're gonna be weighing simple enough let's do it let's do it First, with the straps, so a load level and straps to see. Do 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 do. Sweet. Just give it like a second to. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So when it shows that, that means it's it's done. So twelve pounds. All right, so we'll just deduct that from every single weight that we measure today. That's just easy. We already adjusted the load leveler a little bit, so that way the engine will sit kind of flat. Let this thing zero out. So this thing's already acclimated to the temperature outside, so it should be more accurate that way. Okay, we hook that up. Uh, wait, wait, before you go, what do you guess? What do you think it's gonna weigh? 590. 618. I'm gonna go with 640. All right. Pull the holder together. Okay. Yeah, we're clear. You don't need to go any higher. Let it just kind of, let it. Stabilize. Still rocking. I just want to make sure that it's, what is it sitting at at about? 640.5. All right, so 628.5 is its real weight. 
Hey, can you get, here, let me have that real quick, Wesley. All right, so we're at, so plus or minus about a pound. And we're not caught up on anything completely off the ground. Let's go make sure on the other side that it's not touching anything. Yep, all's well. Everything's clear. Cool, man. Yeah. Sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and take the transmission off the engine, weigh just the engine by itself, and then the transmission by itself. So looks like Wesley was the winner of how much this thing about weighed. He guessed what, like 618? 618. 618? Yeah. yeah, it was 628. Yeah, he was within 10. So yeah, looks like he won that. But um, anyways, let's get this thing weighed real quick. I already, already adjusted the load leveler, so this thing should pick up real nice. Okay, let's wait for that to sync up. You know, once we get like better at this and we start doing this more often, have like a better format. Oh yeah, definitely. I think these would be pretty cool videos, man. Let's start flowing. Like, it's actually really fun. Like one day I want to make a really cool little jig for this thing. I want to make like an actual lifting jig to where I could just toss it in the back of the vehicle real quick. And if I went to like a JDM importer or something like that, I could just go weigh engines at a JDM importer. Quickly. Yeah, real quick. figure out a better way to also measure these engines. I'll, like, I'm gonna make some precision sticks so I can actually like line stuff up and clamp. But, all right, let's see how much this bad boy weighs. How's it looking? It's Here. off the ground there. We are off. We're clear. It's not yeah. touching anything. Is it touching the other side? No? Nope, nothing's touching. What are we looking at? How much does this bad boy weigh? Right on, dude, 517, so 507 pounds. Or 505 pounds, I mean. That's nice. <clears throat> 505. So, five, so it's 505 pounds for a 2JZ GTE with a single turbo. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's carefully lower it down. Excellent. All right, so now we're just gonna weigh the transmission, sands, starter over there so once i weigh the transmission i'll add the starter to it to get a full weight now i know you're probably thinking why don't you just take the total weight subtract it from the engine weight and just go there yeah i could do that but also this is a good way of cross-checking accuracy to see um what it's going to be so if these numbers add up to our total that we got then we know we're at least pretty darn close in accuracy Okay, while well, you're off, you're clear, completely clear. Let me make sure this is up here completely. Nothing's touching the ground. Settle. So 128 pounds minus the lifting fixture, so 12 pounds. So we're sitting at 116. So it's 116 pounds. Um, now let's add the starter to it, huh? With bolts, yep. With bolts, everything total. I just kind of temp install it on here. Real quick. Try not to jostle it too much. Goes like that, right? Mm hmm. Oh, it's gonna like throw this thing away. Oh, it's really gonna touch the ground. So I'll just get it higher. Oh, no. Oh, barely. Barely. 136 pounds, so that's good. 124, so it's 124 pounds with starter. Nice, excellent. And just so you know what's off the ground. All right, so you want to do a little recap real fast before we wrap this up? Yeah. All right, cool. Do it. So yeah, the engine and transmission came in at 628.5 pounds or 285 kilograms. The engine, when we weighed it by itself, came out to 505 pounds or 229 kilograms. 
and then the transmission with starter came out to 124 pounds or about 56 kg so if you take 124 add it to 505 that's 629 pounds so we're actually within that 0.5 pounds that i was talking about earlier so half pound accuracy there um so yeah that's pretty good 628.5 pounds for this engine and transmission combo but uh yeah hopefully we'll get some better content out later the nice variety of engines and stuff like that but uh i think we did a good good job chris huh good first test run yeah good, good first trial out so Anyways, uh, as always, thanks for watching.